Draw one card from the top of your deck. Play one location from your hand. It must be played adjacent to one of your other locations. All locations in location zone 2, both yours and your opponent's, are connected as long as they are adjacent, so you can move across onto the enemy's locations. Roll one die, you may now move to another location. The locations have a footprint at the top right that determines what movement is needed for you to move on to it. You may move across as many locations as you like within one turn, providing the combined movement score allows this, but you cannot move diagonally. Now you must decide if you are going to attack or not. If no, then you must end your turn then. If yes, move on to the next phase. You may now use the elements of the location you are on. You use these elements to put ability cards from your hand into play. You may play any number of abilities providing this does not exceed the value of the elements given by the location. The two types of ability cards are attack and defend. Attacking cards will increase the damage you inflict and the defensive ones will reduce the damage you receive. You may have as many abilities in play as you like and once in play the abilities remain in play until you or another player destroy the abilities and move it to the void. Having used the elements you must now attack. Your opponent now has two choices. Play a conflict card to intercept the attack or take the hit. If they do not have a conflict then they must take the hit. If they choose not to play a conflict they must take the hit. Your opponent may play conflict cards from their hand to the value stated on the location you're on. Players may play as many conflicts as they like as long as it does not exceed the conflict points found on the location. If more than one conflict is laid, the card points are added together to create one conflict. This is both the attack points of the and the life of the conflict. If your opponent decides to play a conflict, the conflict rolls first. The number on the dice and the conflict will tell you how much damage this inflicts on your avatar, less any defensive abilities that you may have in play. This damage is deducted from your avatar's life. You then take your roll adding up your avatar's damage and the attack abilities you have in play, again using one die. Attack continues until either the conflict or the avatar have no life remaining. If the conflict has zero life, it dies and goes to the void. If the avatar loses all its life, then you have lost the game. If the opponent chooses to take the hit, you may roll one dice and inflict damage on their avatar. This is, this is determined by all your attack abilities plus your avatar. After you have fought the conflict or the opponent player has taken the hit, you then go to your rewards phase. Collect the rewards at the bottom of your location you're on. This is gold, life and draw cards.